Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Dave from Dragonoid. So in this video, I'll show you how to flash CM14.1 uh, official ROM on your Xiaomi Redmi 1S. So this is a nightly version of the ROM. It is an official ROM, so it will receive constant updates from the Cyanogen mod team itself. So it's based on sound point one. So before proceeding, make sure that you have taken a complete backup of your device and in order to flash your custom ROM, you need to have a custom recovery installed on your device. And since this uh, ROM is based on Android 7.1 Nougat, uh, this ROM uh, can be flashed only on uh, TWRP recovery uh, version 3.0.2.1 and above. So uh, yeah, sit, um, not in this, not this ROM, but uh, in general, any sound point one Nougat based ROM can be flashed on TWRP recovery 3.0.2.1 and above only. So make sure that you have the latest version. Uh, I will leave a link for the latest TWRP recovery in the description below. You need to download three zip files. The firmware, KitKat firmware zip file, the ROM zip file, and the gaps zip file. And with uh, respect to gaps, uh, it is open gaps. So you need to download uh, 7.1 gaps and make sure that you download a Pico version of the gaps because our system partition has only space for uh, Pico so you can download only Pico gaps so once you have downloaded all the zip files I will leave a link for all, everything in the description below so once you have downloaded all the three zip files uh, place them on your internal storage and now power off your device and reboot into recovery mode by holding the volume up button and the power button. So now in recovery mode, select wipe and select swipe to wipe. Now select install and now first select the uh, KitKat firmware zip file which you downloaded from the first link. And now select swipe to install. So now uh, the firmware is installed. So now select the ROM zip file and select swipe to flash. And now select the gaps zip file and select swipe to flash. So now we have installed all the zip files. So now select reboot system. Remember that your first boot into your new ROM is gonna take a lot of time. So just sit back and relax and don't panic. So the ROM is stable for the most part, it has, doesn't have any major bugs except for minor bugs like uh, some CM features may be missing. Um, but it's absolutely fine for daily usage. I have been using this for a couple of weeks. So yeah, that is it for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. For more videos, hit the subscribe button and do let your thoughts in the comment section below. And thank you for watching till the end. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.